Top story this afternoon, tragedy for one of the most prominent families in East Tennessee, Joe Clayton, the brother and business partner of Clayton Homes founder Jim Clayton, has been identified as the man who died in the helicopter crash. We brought you his breaking news last night. Joe Clayton, among three others on board that helicopter when it crashed, those three, including Jim Clayton, survived. Jim Clayton saying in a statement today, I am devastated and completely heartbroken by the loss of my wonderful brother, Joe. Joe and I were as close as two brothers can be and as only siblings we have supported each other since growing up together on a farm in West Tennessee and as business partners for decades. My thoughts and concerns are totally for Joe's family right now. Now, the other two survivors were Jim Clayton's grandson, Flint Griffin, and Jay McBride, a friend and local businessman. There are still a lot of questions about this crash. What caused it and who was piloting the helicopter when it happened? WATE 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown has spent the day learning more. She joins us now live at the scene of the crash. Jordan. Well, Lori, this is an unimaginable time for the Clayton family, and that investigation continues today. Now, the NTSB tells us that at some point today, the helicopter will be recovered from the river, and the investigator will not be at the scene due to COVID-19 concerns. But once the helicopter is recovered, they, it will be remo moved to a remote location so that it can be examined. Now, right now, it's unclear who was piloting the plane, but we know it was a Eurocopter EC-130. It went down yesterday evening, not far from the landing pad. pad. NTSB officials say it's unclear whether it went down shortly after departure or right before returning, but that investigation is expected to reveal the probable cause of the crash. Now, we will continue to check with the NTSB and local, local authorities for updates on this investigation, but for now, I'll toss it back to you in the studio. All right, Jordan, thank you again. This tragedy hitting one of the most well-known and successful families in our community. Joe Clayton, co-founder, along with his brother Jim Clayton of Clayton Automobiles and Clayton Homes. The crash site we have been showing you is just a few hundred feet from Jim Clayton's home right along the riverfront in Sequoia Hills. Clayton Homes was sold, by the way, to investor Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Company back in 2003. Recently, Jim Clayton and the Clayton Foundation have been working to fund a new science museum slated to be built near downtown Knoxville. And just into the newsroom, pictures showing the moments following the crash. Neighbor Lee Birch the third, sending these to WATE 6 on your side, showing the helicopter right under the surface of the water, a boat nearby, several people in the water as well.